Welcome to the Biologics Production Facility at Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center. The facility, as well as the supporting process development and quality control labs, are located in the D level of the Hutchison Building at Fred Hutch. As you enter the BPF facility, the first two doors on the right are BPF's designated process development and non-clinical project space. Our PD labs have an Applicon My Control system, which supports both microbial and mammalian small-scale bioreactors with a one-liter working volume, a microfluidizer, seven-liter microbial bioreactor, various purification setups with an ability to run purifications ranging from a few milliliters to over 20 liters, a Waters HPLC, and a cell counting station using traditional hemocytometer counts, and a new Countess II system. The Quality Control Laboratory occupies 476 square feet and is located in proximity of the main facility. BPF Quality Control supports all BPF processes. We run sterility assays, ELISA, as well as a number of other assays supporting GMP release. We've recently acquired two Agilent 1100 HPLCs, which will greatly increase our throughput. The BPF QC team also manages external testing through various vendors, other Fred Hutch departments, and several university labs. Entrance into the clinical GMP facility begins with personnel entering through the entry airlock. Personnel are required to follow top to bottom gowning procedures and proceed through three zones until they are fully gowned in clean room PPE. Personnel entering the facility must wear appropriate gowning apparel, including a one-piece Tyvek suit, shoe covers, a cap, gloves, masks, and a beard cover if necessary. Secondary Tyvek sleeves are worn over original gowning during the filing process. All PPE is single use. Gowning materials are maintained in the airlock entry and all gowning material is removed and discarded upon exit from the facility. From the airlock, you enter the clinical production suite, which is the core of the facility, and occupies approximately 1,300 square feet. Clinical manufacturing is campaigned, with rooms dedicated to the production or purification of one product at a time. Upon entering the GMP area, immediately to your right is the 2 to 8 degrees Celsius walk-in cold room, where media and other components are stored. We've recently replaced all the wall-mounted shelving units with new, easy-to-clean metro carts. All material are wiped down with 70% ethanol as they enter the facility. The corridor, cold room, and media prep suite are class 100,000 clean areas with single-pass HEPA-filtered air. Two air handling units provide HVAC to the facility. The air handling units condition 100% outside air for supply air required for heat, cool, and ventilation for this facility. An alarmed pressure center notifies the staff if there are any pressure excursions. The first suite on the right is the production suite in room CD163. This suite is class 100,000 using single pass HEPA filtered air. The suite contains two CO2 incubators and a six foot biosafety cabinet and a fume hood. USP grade gases are supplied by an outside vendor to support clinical bioreactor production. Upstream processing as well as lentiviral vectors are produced in this suite. Equipment can be moved in and out depending on the process. Mammalian processes are run in our 110 liter stainless steel bioreactor using an Applicon 1030 controller. For mammalian processes, the maximum working volume is 85 liters. Lentivirus is produced using up to 20 one liter cell stacks in our incubators using an adherent lentiviral platform. Upstream microbial production is not done in the standard GMP production suite. CD151 process development area is converted to GMP use and requires EM monitoring, gowning, and access controls. The smaller 70 liter stainless steel vessel uses an Applicon 1010 controller with a working volume of around 55 liters. Just to the left of the production suite is the production support suite in CD165. This room contains our water supply as well as chemicals needed for formulations and clinical processes. The last suite in the facility is the purification suite located in CD167. This suite contains an extra positive pressure airlock for entry into the suite. Personnel must wait in the airlock until pressure is maintained before moving into the purification suite. Downstream purification as well as viling are performed in this area. 
This is a class 10,000 area with a single pass HEPA filtered air. This suite processes both drug substance and drug products, so extra precautions are taken. The suite contains a four foot biosafety cabinet as well as a six foot laminar flow hood. Equipment can be moved in and out depending on the process. Standard purification processes are done manually and include TFF hollow fiber, various column chromatography steps, and viral filtration. In the main corridor, we have a 2 to 8 degree Celsius final product storage unit, 2 minus 20 degree Celsius freezers, and 1 minus 80 degree Celsius ultra low temperature freezer. Storage in the hallway consists of three caged wire racks containing currently unused equipment, cleaned glassware, and cleaned currently unused water and plasticware. Our exit room contains cleaning supplies and a built-in sink to support facility sanitization. All gowning materials are removed and discarded upon exit from the facility.